In this video, I'm painting the colors on my Sea Life sculpture. I've already painted a solid pink and green for the tentacles, and now I'm putting a second coat to darken and smooth that layer. You always want to have more than one layer on your paintings to get rid of any of those brush strokes and make it nice and solid and smooth. Now I'm starting to blend colors on top, working my way down. I'd like to make a purple on the top, so I'm using blue, and then while the pink paint is still wet, I'm taking my brush, cleaning it off, and blending the two colors together. You can blend colors together by using a wet brush that does not have any paint on it, and mixing it between two colors. So here you can see I'm blending the blue into the pink, and both colors are wet. And this takes a little bit of practice. Sometimes you need to add more paint on top to get the colors to blend, but eventually you'll be able to blend the colors the more you practice. Now I'm starting to pull the paint down the jellyfish to create lines along the body and the paint is pretty thin here. I'm using water to pull that purple down. I'm now adding a second layer onto the bottom of the jellyfish and the green tentacles. So again, everything that you have in your sculpture you should do at least two coats so that you have a nice, smooth, bright, colorful painting. I'm now using permanent acrylic paint in a tube and I'm squeezing it out to add outlines and details to my jellyfish. Um, this type of paint does take longer to dry, so as you're working, just be careful that um, you're not touching it or smudging it with other colors.
using my paintbrush now to add little details with dots of yellow and bright colors so I'm trying to emphasize the areas that create the shape of the fish and give it a little more detail you can use any shapes to do this I find that circles and lines on the fish accentuate some of the areas really well so play around with it have fun and use bright colors <laughs> 